your KPIs, calculate lifetime value. Okay. <sighs> you may have these numbers now, or you may have to figure them out as you're going. The key here is figure it out. If you're spending X amount of dollars on marketing and you generate 15 leads for reoccurring services and you're closing 50% of those, you can now have a hard number to understand how much revenue you've generated for your company. So how much is a one-time cleaning worth to you and how much is a reoccur reoccurring cleaning worth to you? This helps with a few things. So sales, it tells you how much of potential revenue you have generated in any given day, week, month, or year or so on. You can figure out if you must improve the quality in your services if the lifetime reoccurring for a client isn't 12 months. Now, this isn't for everybody because you could be in one of those places where it's kind of transient. You got people coming in, people going out. So maybe that cycle is six months, but the key is to know what it is for you and to know what it is for your market. And then that will help you understand, do I need to improve in sales or do I need to improve in my cleaning? Because really both of those are, are just as important to your business. <clears throat> if, if one times are not converting into reoccurring or purchasing more than once in a 12 month period, chances are you've got some quality issues to fix in your cleaning business. So, I don't know about you, but a large, I'd say probably 30% of the customers that we had, they would call like before every holiday or, you know, uh, sometimes after every holiday, special occasions, that thing. So, so some of these customers would purchase six to 10 times with us a year, um, just as a one-time clean, even though they're not technically a reoccurring customer, they're coming back to you. So how many of those people are coming back to you and how much is that worth to you? Um, and then the simple math on figuring this number, uh, you can do a lump sum. So take uh, the number of all your clients and divide them by total revenue generated over the year. And that will tell you regardless whether it's a reoccurring one time, how much one customer is worth to you. Now, I like to break that down by one time and reoccurring because obviously the reoccurring is what everybody wants, but you still want one times because reoccurrings come from one times, especially when your service is amazing. And if you're starting up and you don't have these numbers, you just start with this. One times worth about 420 each, assuming that over the lump sum purchase more than once with you, at least twice. Um, and then reoccurrings, a biweekly at 150, actually comes out to be about 3,700, but let's just say 3,500. So those are two hard numbers that you can start tracking with and use as a benchmark against your business and what's going on. And why does this matter? In marketing because the better job you can clean the higher your return on investment is let's say you've got a churn and burn business right now um, you're getting customers in they're booking they're canceling 30 days out so the lifetime value you may spend 200 bucks to get that one recurring customer well you only made 200 bucks on them over 30 days so, so you're making zero, you're not making any money on this. But if they're a customer for a year, two years, some are three years that I've even heard um, with some cleaning businesses, I mean, now you've spent that 200 bucks to retain that customer and you know they're closer to, to worth $10,000 with you. So do you see how the return on, on the investment is better, the better quality service that you offer? It's really one and the same.